Good, good evening. Hey everybody, how's it going? How are you awesome people doing? <laughs> Hope you're doing good. Well, I'm going to be bouncing around. Not literally, but, you know, so to speak. With people just, you know, in and around the Idaho murders. First, we're going to start with Hayden Villa. Now, this was long hair sweater guy down at the grub truck. You know, picking up the girl, swinging her around, and just being, you know, nasty to Maddie and, and uh, you know, making fun and doing all that kind of stuff. It was This is that guy. What I want to point out is this guy is big time into UFC, wrestling, um, yeah, that kind of thing. So, I mean, it's all about that for him. He's all over it. He likes the sport, and he likes his wrestling in particular. And boxing and that kind of stuff. So, also, most of his stuff on his account is from 2020. He uh, has taken a lot of it down. But I just want to point this out at this point because it's going to be leading somewhere. But this is a, you know, this is um these, um, the, sh the sugar show that it's like a, you know, it's like a, uh, what's it called? Uh, ultimate fighting matches. So you just go and, you know, it's, oh, you can do anything. You can use whatever style and... Um, usually they're bare-fisted. These guys have gloves on. And it's kind of going back and forth. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But they they do a number on them. So, there's that. There's um, just a bunch of... He's really not that... He's kind of... This guy's got a dry sense of humor. He's not funny at all. <laughs> and... Um, Oh, and this one right here. The cor this quarantine is affecting everyone in the workforce, but especially sucks for men. We're losing a dollar for every 79 cents women are losing. I mean, what a dick. Hayden, you belong in Idaho, for sure. God. Oh, and I thought this was interesting. The, pre the first presidential candidate that promises to pardon Joe Exotic has my vote. Well, guess what, you guys? Joe Vito is um i think he was um i think he was uh did some work for him and i'll tell you the story later about that but how how i know how i how i feel i know about that how i think i really do know about that so anyway it's just a bunch of you know stuff like this he's like i said he's very very boring drake is overrated as fuck little wayne is underappreciated yeah so you see where he's going, right? This is this is his mentality. Yeah. Such a sweet guy, huh? Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah. By the way, uh, yeah. Bitching about drivers, all sorts of stuff. Well, I am going to go to another part. Let me see. Is this his picture? Yeah, that's definitely him. In his underwear on the beach. <laughs> All right, so let's see what his media is on here. Yeah, same old boring stuff. What's this? Oh, good lord. Yeah, real smart. We got a smart one on our hands here. Yep, replies. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I need to go there because I don't think he's that interesting. But there is something definitely interesting about him, and it's not a good thing. So I'm gonna go find a few more things. So this is his um, humor, STD testing center, U of I. Yeah, he's a real winner. Um, and look where he's from, you guys. St. Marie's, Idaho. 
You know who else is from there? Brett Payne. All right. We out this bitch. So you got 2019. So he's in the pink and the blue on the right. So he was, um, oh, so this is high school. One second. Last one to the right looks like the buffoon. Um, so that must be high school. God, he looks old. He looks young right there, kind of, but so he's a baseball guy. Yep. He likes his baseball. Let's see if he knows anybody in here. Hook me up with some special picks every early though. It's just... <laughs> you guys have lost a cool valley. He's that's probably a bad thing. So this is an, another one interesting one right here. Is that he is a wrestler. Yes, he is. And that Holt Arena, I wonder if Holt Arena has anything with um, to do with Grace Holt. So they're tossing them around pretty good there, huh? Well, I really would rather be writing a caption about how it feels to have you, your hard work pay off and to reach your goals. But here we are writing a sappy caption about failing. Although I never got on a state podium, wrestling taught me that there's more to life than a medal and a t-shirt with champion across the back. It taught me how it feels to put your all into something and still come out and still come up short. It taught me how to stay humble in victory and how to handle the shame of defeat and most importantly it taught me that the push-ups are really really hard <laughs> if you ever have to if you ever have told my freshman self that i would care this this much about throwing another dude around on a mat i would have thought you were insane when i first started i never pictured that i would win over 130 varsity matches become a two times two times district champ and that i would have and I would go 96-20 over my final two seasons. Meaning, you guys, that he was really good. On the flip side, if at the start of this year you would have told me that I would end up spending 30 minutes in a locker room staring at the wall, wondering how I just lost out of a state, out of, out at state for the fourth straight year, I probably would have called you crazy. I made some of the best memories in my life with some great people over the last four years. And even though it didn't end up all how I wanted it to, I'm still thankful for this sport. Kill him, hashtag kill him Troy, hashtag Yasweeney, Sweeney, hashtag had, had, you had a big breakfast, legs go. Let's go. You had a big breakfast, let's go. You know that sound? You know that sound? Edit, damn. I was in my feels. Okay, so that's 2019. Let's see who. We'll go back. Probably go back and look at these. I don't. I want to get through this, but I'm sure there's some interesting ones in here that need to be clicked on. Looks like they're the same ones right through here, so this might not be as important as I thought. So we've got my last district district tournament was a blast. Won our third district title in a row, and now it's time for state. And yeah. Keep your eye on the see if there's you know anybody in here. Is he long hair over here too? He must be, huh? I don't know. Okay. So
Oh, I guess that is him. Okay. He's like a little... Okay, wait a second. Oof. Ooh, dang. Okay. So, he came out perky and winning. <laughs> I think these are the totally weirdest uniforms. <laughs> they really kind of are kind of embarrassing to me. I don't know. They just look weird. Okay, so, what we got here. Oh, he's the he look how skinny he is, but he thinks he's all that and then some. Well maybe that's because that well send now I'm thinking of this. Now this is interesting. So that girl down there, oh, this is Lewiston High School, okay. So that girl down there, you know, she was picking him up, right? And she just kept picking him up and you know, he kept letting her and blah blah blah. And then he picked her up and so on and so forth. You know, distraction distraction type um, antics. And um I'm wondering if quite if she could have been a, a female wrestler, is what my thoughts are. St. Marie's High School. Look at that. St. Marie's High School. I wonder. No, he would be too old. But I bet you he knows uh, pain quite well, actually. Isn't that interesting? Look at his ribs. That's very interesting, in my opinion. Very, very interesting. Who is that back over there? Mm, you never know. Pedialyte. That's probably the funniest thing he said so far. So... So he got his 100th varsity win. You guys, that is a lot. That means he's good at wrestling. Really good. We've got Potlatch High. My grandmother was born in Potlatch. My first, my last first tournament was a success. And look what T-Bar. That's weird. It sounds a lot like K-Bar, doesn't it? Fake. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So... We've got Harrison. Oh, Harrison's quite the white town. <laughs> it's a very white town. It's a creepy looking fish, man. 2018, a day of ripping legs. So, it's, um, I'm curious who he knows through up through here. Because this is the thing right here, you guys. He at the grub truck he didn't have a knot on his head when he was at the grub truck but he certainly did when the cops got to his place at 338 or actually 320 or 331 I think is when they showed up although the police report says 338 so he's a baseball guy he's a wrestler he likes his sports he stays in in you know good physical shape and he was caught with head. So, I find that a little damning, if you ask me. So this is... Oh, nope, nope, nope. So this is August 23rd, 2022. Look at all these people. Is this the... Oh my god, who's that? Who is that guy? Oh my god, who is that guy? Oh shit. Oh you guys, is that... Oh, I hope that's not who I think it is. He 
he looks like Jack Venice is what he looks like. Oh my god, that would be crazy. Would Jack Venice be out? Yeah, he was out of prison after that. Oh, man. So, was this a Wanderlust? Might have been the Wanderlust. Um, well, basically, no, it wasn't because that wasn't Gorge. The Brady Brantley. Oh, it's pretty similar. So these are festivals that, you know, you go to and you get all high, I guess, and pop some Molly. I've never had Molly. I have no idea what it's like. Okay, this was on. Oh, they're beer bong. Is that Lake Campbell? I never found that to be even remotely fun. I don't think I've even ever really done one. B runs for miles, huh? So these are just these are just his tagged ones, right? Okay, so this is one of his tagged. Um, twenty twenty. Fishing guy, another fishing twenty twenty. Um, more wrestlers, and even a girl wrestler. So there you go. Oh, hmm, interesting. Hayden Humphrey sounds familiar. All right, more fun in the sun. Beach wrestling. Hayden at Montaro Beach. I don't even know that's at. Then you've got out of high school. This is high school. Look at that full head, full face, face of hair, man. So we've got that Caden. Okay, Caden. Ham pops up a few. I mean, he's popped up before. So let me see what you look like, buddy. Yeah. Well, those guys are all about their funky stuff, huh? Okay. Um. I'm writing these down as I go. So, oh, Sandpoint, F Sandpoint. Jeez. Okay, so there's that. I am going to let me see if there's anything else on him. Oh, let's see who he, let's see who he, let's see who he's following. Let's see if he follows. Joe. Nope. Let's see if he follows Kaylee. If he's smart, he doesn't. How about Maddie? Oh, let's see, Madison. There's a Moye in there. Let's see. Surprisingly not. Who is he with down there? Um, oh, let's see if he follows um, 
Molly. No. Hmm. Okay, let's see who his followers are. The Jade in Idaho. That sounds interesting. Anyway, I'm going to go through these. I just want to get this up and out. But I'm going to go and show you his knot. I'm going to show you down at the grub truck. And I'm going to show you his knot on his head. Gosh, we're already at 20 minutes. Holy crap. Okay, hold on. So, uh, I don't know if, I don't know if this means that this is, you know, where he's at, because I haven't looked into it, but whenever I pop up fraternity, he shows up in, you know, putting up here on Sigma Chi. So, if he is a Sigma Chi, that would lead this to be even a little bit more interesting and, quite frankly, disturbing. So, there's not a whole lot on him. That, that Facebook goes into a girl, so he's got that Twitter, which is boring. It's all get up. Um, oh, there's a fraternity fort. Oh, I wonder if that was his doing. This was um, when the fort collapsed. I think I told you guys about this. Maybe we'll do this, and then I'll go back and look at some more stuff after this. Pure chaos. Let me see if his name's in here. Oh, Pi Capital. I'll probably have to go. I'm, I'll put the link in here for you guys to read this. But it was, like, there was a girl on it. She went to the hospital, and there was a couple guys. I'm just going to scroll through and see if I can see his name. Because it might have popped up here. Maybe that's just his, uh, maybe it's just his, um. Anyway, I guess they do these every year. And when I was looking through some other stuff, like the, the other post I made about the, Indiana University. Thank God those guys are, you know, the students are doing something about it. And it's crazy it takes the students to do something about it and not a freaking, you know, authority, you know, higher up figure. Like, apparently, yeah. So, you know, yeah, frat. So that was Pi Capital. All right, so here's just, I'll play this. Welcome to the News at 10, a fraternity event gone wrong. University of Idaho's Phi Kappa Tau chapter is in some hot water. After fraternity members held a party Saturday night where a platform they built collapsed and sent four people to the hospital. Oh, Abby Davis spoke with a student who was there. Abby? That's right. This student is a junior at U of I, and I asked her if alcohol played a role in this structure collapsing. And Ana East Herb says it's honestly just too hard to tell, but that she hopes students are more careful in the future. <laughs> the lying girl. Saturday night didn't turn out like University of Idaho junior Ana East Herb planned. It was just really just chaotic all at once because no one was really expecting it to happen. What happened? A raised platform collapsed, injuring four people. It was built by U of I Phi Kappa Tau fraternity members. It's like an every year tradition that they have. Here's what they built in 2017. You can climb up like using like a, a structure they build kind of to climb up onto it. It's like a little lookout area, basically. I think people just kept climbing up when, pe when everyone was trying to get them to come down and it was just at max capacity. And people were trying to get them down because they yes. recognized that there were too many people on there. Because I went up there because I thought, you know, I wanted to see what it looked like. It looked fine. And they immediately kicked me off. And, there, and then once that happened, like five minutes after, it fell down and they were still trying to get people down. And that was fraternity brothers trying to regulate yeah. the situation. Probably just trying to have, like, some risk management. Moscow Volunteer Fire Chief Brian Nickerson says the platform that collapsed was six or seven feet tall. First responders Jeez. arrived at the scene around 11.30 p.m. Herb says at least 30 people were standing on the platform when it collapsed. Some people were underneath. The men in the fraternity were trying to get everyone who wasn't um, injured or wasn't involved in it at all to leave property immediately and, like, get out of the situation so no one else got hurt and to see to get to the people who were injured. Nickerson told KTVB first responders took the four injured people to Gritman Medical Center. One person was later flown to another hospital nearby because of severe injuries. University administration say they are, quote, working with the injured students' parents and are trying to better understand the situation. I also reached out to U of I's Interfraternity Council and the Phi Kappa Tau fraternity, but did not hear back. As a member of the Greek community herself, Herb says she's hoping for better risk management in the future. When someone tells you something, it's probably for your safety, not because they're not trying to have you make you have fun, you know. That's definitely a lesson for a lot of people, I think, is 
um, making sure there are those extra safety steps and just having them in place and prepare for the worst almost. Yeah, as we watch this story, the first thing that comes to mind, you know, we've we've heard from her, but but do they know? Does anybody know what went wrong? Well, that's really just a million dollar question, and they don't, as of right now, oh. officials don't have um, really specifics about why pick, this structure pick collapsed. Me up and tell but you. they are investigating, so we'll just have to wait and see. All right, Abby Davis, thank you. I'll tell you what went wrong. You have a bunch of freaking frat boys, probably drunk, stoned. And whatever else they're on, in my opinion, building something that they're not, you know, qualified to do. And, you know, they don't have the um, proper, um, you know, you know, material to, to um, you know, the hardware for it. The brackets, the, you know, the sizes, the shapes, everything. I mean, it all comes down to that. I mean, you've got to, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a master, you know, that's why people... You know, built. You know, that's why carpenters do carpenter work because they learn it, and they there's a way to do it, and there's a way not to do it, and apparently they did the lot not not way. Anyway, it, yeah, I didn't know there was four. I thought there was just three, but but I do know that one of them was pretty, I'm pretty, pretty hurt, and I, and I think it was a, um, it punctured like I want to say like a kidney or I mean like a like a major or organ is what I heard. But that's just, you know, what I heard. I don't remember. I mean, I remember something like that. And I remember it was something to do with that. But that is not, don't take, it's, don't take my word for that. It's just, you know, remembering kind of back. And, but, and they, of course, you know, trying to get them to tell you these things. Oh, look, I have an Adam's and Adam and Eve. 20% off one item, free shipping. How about that adult product? <laughs> Across the screen. Boy, the things they think of. Okay. So I am going to go get the grub truck and do that real quick, and then I will get this up. Do rewards. Enjoy. And it looks like you do not quite have enough points yet. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Um, hey, hold on. Do rewards. Enjoy. And it looks like you do not quite have enough points yet. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Um, hey, hold on. I do have. That's a good one. Okay, so. Uh, ninety dollars for it. I want. I know I have a six dollars waiting for me. I'd like to have. Okay, awesome. So. What's your reward? Yeah. Thirteen dollars. Hell yeah. Perfect. Oh, always. Um, <laughs> Extra slot? Is that a charge? No, it's not a charge. It's just a modifier. Oh, they have Apple Pay. We have Apple Pay, right? Of course we do. Of course you have Apple Pay. Yes. Oh. It's too bad. On Grace's part, she had to open her mouth up down there because. Now, I can identify her on Linda Lane. Darn, darn, darn. Maddie's just busy watching these people over here that are just... <sighs> jerks. In my opinion. Okay, a little bit more of Hayden's head because Hayden don't have a bump, and wait till you see the bump he got after at 3:38 when the cops told him. I'll do the five two seconds. 3:38. No, please, no, I'm getting more no matter what. Like, please, please, he's waiting. Uh, we'll do two five. Like, I'm adding two, or you're making it. It's now two. Oh, two. You're adding two. Excellent. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Anything else? Three. This is not your last one. 
Oh, uh, you got it. So I have a chicken taco and three five cheese mac and cheeses. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, oh, that was a good angle. Okay, here's the perfect angle. So when you see his head next, <laughs> what I'm going to show you, yeah, there's a huge difference. In fact, I'm going to take a screenshot of that. And I'm going to compare it because I like doing that. Huh, Hayden, you should know better. Long hair. You long hair, you. Not that I, I have very long hair, so I love long hair, but he makes me mad. Let me see what else I got in here. Let me see if I can get a different angle, too. Oh, Hayden. Hayden, Hayden, Hayden. You stupid, stupid little boy. Don't you know that women rule and boys drool? Yeah. Bad, bad boy. And you're not a very... You're, you're a terrible liar, by the way. In fact, you lie really bad. Hold on, let me show you. Can I get? We already got a Can I get a magnifier? You got a magnifier. Uh, one magnifier, nine bucks for you. Where are we going? Absolutely. Yes. Let's go. Okay. First and foremost, this is Cade right here, right? Why? is his why is he pixeled out right here what does he have what what can't be seen right now which will we'll be able to see all of him here in a little bit what was on him or what what was it that we couldn't see i was thinking it was because it said dutch brothers which is also very interesting on the side of his sleeve on that sweater but that's not it because then they show it so in the beginning it looked like he had blood all over the front of his shirt but then it made it look like it was just a shadow. So I don't know what the deal was. Maybe, I don't know. But, uh, curious, let me know. But I want to show you his head here. Oh, it's so much different than it was at the grub truck. <laughs> okay, here we go. It was like falling on the side of the fucking road. It's good to sit down for now, okay? You want it? I'm so good for now. Okay. You got ID on you? I do. You got ID? I also don't, and I, I literally just was meeting him halfway. I wasn't, I wasn't there. Yeah. I, I met him like, halfway. there. Yeah. Yeah. What was your goal? What was your end game? Are you talking to me or? What with the sign? What was your goal? What was your end game? Are you talking to me or? To walk back? Back where? To here. Do you understand? Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. Also, no, no, no. sure. Look at the red light behind you. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. So that is theft. Yep. Okay. And for what purpose? None. Okay. Yeah. Good God. Okay. So you saw it? It was knocked over. It was knocked over. Or you just picked it up and grabbed it just cause. It was knocked over. Okay. So you thought it'd be a good idea to just take city property, take it back to your apartment, store it inside. <laughs> just gonna bring it back. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. And what's what's your relation to this situation? No, I, I'm, I'm rude. I just went to go walk and meet him because he said he was coming back. So I was like, I'll go meet up with him. Okay. Did you say I had a sign with him? When I got there, yeah. All right. Let me get your name, man. What's your last name? Uh, Via. He's also Via wearing LLA. slippers, you guys. A pair of slippers. First name? Slip on. Hayden. H a y d e n. I have no intention of taking you to jail. Middle initial. Uh, D. Okay. I wasn't trying to do anything. What happened to your head? I, I was this? Oh, dude, dude, weeks ago. Oh, really? Oh, dude, I swear to God, that was three weeks ago. Hmm. Swear on my life. You're good. Uh, date of birth? Uh, yep. 2001. Did you guys see him on the side? Look at his head. It's totally swelling out right now. He probably can't. He's probably not wearing a hat because he probably can't. His head is swelling up. And you can see it right here. You can see his eyes. You can see his nose starting to swell. His eyes are actually starting to turn black. I bet you, hands down, he had black eyes the next day. He hit his head hard. In fact, um, when he turns to the side that one time, let me see if I can find it. Let 
that's a pretty good shot right there. But, I mean, you can see his eyes are going to be black. He's going to have black eyes big time. And look how freaking nervous he is. And he's... Fuck. He's such a smart ass. But he's scared. I don't know why. This is all set up, right? Yeah, that's going to be a big old knot. And he didn't have this when he was down there. Look, he looks like... So, here's my thing. Yo, Hayden. What did you do over there? Whose slippers are you wearing? Did Were your shoes covered in, in crimson? Is that why you couldn't wear them? Whose slippers are you wearing, Hayden? Do tell, because we all really, really want to know. No, I'm serious. Well, guess what, dude? Maybe you should wrestle people who are as good as you. Because you may have really hurt somebody if this is indeed what happened. And I don't mean just hurt somebody. Even worse. What did you do to get that on your head, Hayden? Hmm? Look at your bridge. Your, your nose is literally swelling. I mean, you're on pause right now, and your nose is still swelling. That's pretty bad. You best go get you a chunk of beef. Or like a pea, frozen pea bag out of the freezer. And you better get yourself a good lawyer. And another pair of shoes, because you look ridiculous in those slippers. They look like they're women's. We're going to go back and look at them, too. I want to show everybody. Yep. They don't match your outfit, either. Get on board, dude. Okay. I want you to check out his slippers. Those are women's slippers. They're way, way too small for him. But now I want you to check out the shadow on the wall behind him. And look at the um, dirt around this area. It looks like it's been dug up, right? Look at, oh, there's little, there's, there's crumbs all over the sidewalk. Or dirt, dirt things, dirt chunks. Dirt balls. These guys are scumbags and there's dirt balls on the sidewalk. Okay, here we go. I also don't, and I, I literally just was meeting him halfway. I wasn't, I wasn't there. It looks like there's already a sign back there, you guys. <laughs> I, I met him like halfway there. So. What was your goal? What was your end game? He's hanging from his, the side of Are you talking to me or? With the sign. Yeah, what's hanging from the side of his belt? Back? back where? Adam, to here. David, Cade. Do you understand my question? Sure. I brought back here. That's, that's what I was trying to do. Okay. Okay, yep. so now gotcha. look, they don't need so to be there. Well, I don't, yep. What was okay. back there? They, okay. And for what purpose? What the hell was back there that now they don't need that on there? They don't need that that um to block that. And what's Kate, what's a uh, Hayden look at looking at? What's out there that he's looking at? Oh, and also I wanted to bring up that this looks like Jack, um, this looks like Jack K's car. The blue one right there, I could swear he's got a blue one just like that. Were they going there to meet Jack K? Maybe? I don't know. Pure speculation, just question. Not even, no statement. And also this light, see the light in the window between the two of these guys? I think he was flashing. Like, why is it flashing if they're not in the car? Maybe because there's somebody else in the car with them? That's what I'm thinking. Okay, well, we saw Cade's lovely little um, side monster. He's growing. Look at that. <laughs> Look, he's he actually doesn't even have... He doesn't even have an indent. Like, 
it's going to go straight up from the, his nose all the way up to his forehead. Look at that. Boy, you've been a bad boy. I wonder if there's, he's looking at something. I wonder if some, someone's standing over there. Let's watch for a second. No. Yeah, see, look at okay. it. Oh, he's got yeah. the blinker on. Okay. So you saw it, it was knocked over? It's knocked over. Or you just picked it up and grabbed it just because? Knocked over. Oh, yeah, there's okay. someone walking. Look at there's someone. So you got to be good. It just takes any property, take it back to your apartment, store it inside? Just going to bring it back. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. And what's what's your relation to this situation? No, I'm, I'm rumorative. I just went to go walk and meet him because he said he was coming back. So oh, I was like, I'll go this. meet up with him. Listen. Okay, did you say I had a sign with him? When I got there, yeah. All right. Okay, I want you to listen very carefully what Hayden says. Because if this is the case, is Hayden the creeper? The watcher? Turn for my man. What's your last name? Uh, Via. V I L L A. First name? Hayden. H A Y D E N. I have no intention of taking you to Middle initial? Uh, D. I wasn't trying to do anything. What happened to your head? I, I was this? Oh, dude, dude weeks ago. Oh, really? Oh, dude, I swear to God, that was three weeks ago. I <laughs> swear my life. You're good. Uh, date of birth? Uh, yep. 2001. So, so you were 21. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, yeah, I'm, I'm 21. I wasn't... You got a driver's license? Not on me, dude. I'm... Well, what's, in general, you have a driver's license? Yeah. What state's it through? So, you guys... Okay, so they cut out some parts of this. Because the, the soundtrack's off, just like they did with the Kaylee one, where they knocked on the door, and it was like, it was totally off, like, like, he walked away, like, it was just totally off, that whole soundtrack. So, same with this one. And that means they cut out whatever they were doing, like, in between, like, whatever was going on there with that pixely thing, or whatnot. Um, yeah. So, anyway, that's why the soundtrack's totally off, it's not because of the video. So, just so you know... Uh, I know. I know. Okay. okay. No, I, I literally just, he told me to come back. I went and met up with him just to walk him back because I like to walk around that night. Like, but well, you knew you had to sign with him? Once I got there, yeah. And but, I got there, I was like, what the, I was like, what the fuck? And he's like, oh, I just grabbed this. Like, okay, you, I'm not going to deal with it. Like, you were okay with that? Uh, okay, but I'm not going to be like, yo, like. You didn't say no to it, though. Yeah, but like, what do, you, what do you want me to do? Like, you think I'm gonna be like, oh, if I could go put that back? He, like, he didn't know that I had it until yeah. he saw me there. But once he saw you with it, he had no issue with you. You had no issue with him taking city property. Dude, I didn't think. Dude, if you think I thought that much of it, I didn't think that much into it. I literally would just went and met up with the kid. I mean, whether it's a sign, whether it's you know, speed limit sign, yeah, mob dude, poster I, sign. No, I, I get that. I just... not... Okay. <sighs> Well, they may be grainy, but Hayden doesn't have anything on his forehead right now. Look, he's got an actual nose, you know, an indent right there. there you know, you can see, I look at he's not swelled up or nothing. But he is now, watch this. Look at those swollen ankles, too. Look at those slippers. <clears throat> Turn it the other way. Hold on. Look at those swelled up ankles. Look at that. He's got a, almost a hematoma on his foot on the inside. Look at that. <clears throat> he probably can't get a pair of shoes on right now. That's probably why he's wearing those slippers. And that I think that there's a darn good reason. Look at those are women's. They don't even fit him in. Look at all the dirt up around this thing. Look at that. Hmm. So, sorry for the fastness here. Well, yeah, look at that ankle on the inside there. It's swelling up. It's all red, too. Ooh, it's pretty big. Why the pixels? Why, why, why the pixels? Look at that head. 
head. Wait, where are my other ones? Hold on. I must have recorded them instead of taking screenshots, but that's okay. We'll get it that way. But look at that. It's a little bit swelled up, I'd say. And look at this, you guys. Look at the shadows over here on the wall. There's someone over there, because that's a tall shadow right in the light, right there. That's not this officer. That's not, she's too far forward over here. So there's something else going on over there. It's weird. This whole thing is so freaking weird. Jeez. Okay, I'm going to wrap this one up and get on to the next one, because there's a lot. Um... Uh, This is really crazy, you guys. It's really, really crazy. But I, in my opinion, I do think he was involved. And like I said in the beginning, when I saw that thing at the at the grub truck, and I was like, "Oh my God!" This is my. I was like, "No way! This is a, a fight club. This is a fight." And it's, and it, and when Kaylee got that note, um, that's how I felt with that too. I felt like it was like, because in Fight Club, so the first time you go to a Fight Club, you have to fight. You cannot turn it down. You have to fight. And I, th and that's when, when Kaylee got that, whatever that girl gave her, I mean, it could have been something different, but in my eyes, what that felt like, what that seemed like to me was exactly that. Like she was going to the, she was going to be sh taken to the this club, this you know back home or wherever, wherever, and she was going to have to fight because you because ca you can't say no. It's it's against the rules in fight clubs, and you know. And the thing is, so here's the thing with that kind of stuff. You've got someone who's been out and about. She's already kind of you know, not feeling as great because something has already happened and she's not comfortable and she's not secure, you know, so, you know, self-assured or anything like that within herself. Um, and, she, and plus, she, people train for this kind of thing. I mean, they're, they're, they're constantly training their bodies for this and, you know, for, and all different things, eat, eat wise, you know, what you're drinking, you know, water, like if you're out drinking that night, I mean, come on, that's a totally different story. People don't fight when they've been drinking. You know, that's not that's not how you do it. But this, and, but, and so then you got the people on the other side who are more than likely sober and have, you know, at least put in some practice. And this is just laid on someone out of the blue. I mean, could you imagine having, being handed a piece of paper and it says... You are about to be in a fight. And it's going to happen. It's not not going to happen because that's just the way it is. And you have to fight back. Because if you don't fight back, it's going to be worse. And so there you have it. In my opinion, that definitely was still something in that arena going on over there can't really deny that because it just there's so much around it and so many of the athletes you know there and and they're wrestlers and they're you know they're 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 you know they've been you know they're see they're seasoned in what they do too so that's another thing i mean they're seasoned they're, they've had you know they're they're good at it they've it's in them it's it's in them. That's the thing right there. It's in them. They know what to do. They know your. They know by looking at you what your next move is going to be, because they've trained to know that. Yeah. So they never had a chance, not a chance. And then ambushed, you know, with people walking around in black, you know, clad in black, and not being able to see anybody, and then jumping out. Can you imagine also being scared, like? I mean, I get startled easy. Can you imagine someone jumping out at you and, and then and then all of a sudden someone comes in and starts pummeling you? You don't have a freaking chance in hell. 
I mean, you're caught off guard right there, and that first punch can be all, and that can be all you need, all, all that happens. A first punch can take somebody out. I'll tell you what, this guy looks scared. He looks scared. And he's got a darn good reason to be. wonder what he's doing these days. Okay. All right, you guys, you take care, and I'm going to pop this on. Love you all, and thank you so much for all the support. It's really awesome. No, I never, ever, ever, ever expected anything like this. And it's, and I'm, just, I'm humbled by it. Like, seriously, I just, that type of thing right there, it only means something to me because it was kind of shocking to me. I mean, it means something to me. You all mean something to me. Don't get me wrong. Don't take that like that, you know, blah, because you guys do mean something to me, but the whole thing is I don't, it's not, I'm not like, I'm not like the Jones versus Smith, right? I don't have to like have whatever, you know, better, better than Joneses or this, you know, however that, that little saying goes. I've never been like that. And so, um, and I'm not going to start now. I mean, <laughs> ugh, what, how much energy does that take? Man, alive. Not to mention money. God, you have to have a ton of money. You have to be <laughs> constantly keeping up with everybody else. That ain't going to happen. So anyway, all right, you guys. Well, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get out of here and get this up on CapCut and see what I can do. Yeah, I'm gonna try to put a side by side of Hayden's head shot. <laughs> yeah, burst. <laughs> All right, looks like an elephant, like the trunk going up the side of that building over there. How do you do that? Oh, that's a horse. Never mind. That's not an elephant. <laughs> well, elephants kind of do that. You know the way elephants kiss is they actually blow really gently too. Their, their snouts are so soft, and they're so gentle that way, but they blow just a really light like air in it to, to you. That's their way of kissing. So if you just blow air back in their trunk, they it's like giving them a kiss. It's really cute. Yeah. Don't try that with a camel. <laughs> just don't. Just trust me. <laughs> I didn't either. I saw it happen though. I was a little smarter than that. <laughs> All right, you guys take it easy. <laughs> Bye.